So I'm here at a uh, layout, and this layout is Pennsylvania in 1950s and Philadelphia, and it covers everything in Philadelphia, from North Philadelphia, um, it's just so big, I can't even, like, I can't get it all, it's just amazing. I'm telling you, there's the tours, the open houses that have been on this tour uh, have just been, each one I go to is better than the last one. This one is, uh, it's going to be incredible. <laughs> Stay tuned, man. I don't even. This is, he's got, mm, and oh man i'm just so lost because it's so overwhelming these layouts are incredible this is just a section of part of the overhead that he has for the pennsylvania because the pennsylvania at that time ran electric and diesel and this is the catenary that he has around this layout you'll see this is just a sample of it and this is a According to this, it's original style catenary used from New York to Pittsburgh in the subway and at zoo interlocking. I think there's still yards. So here we are. This is some of the catenary that he built. So it was all scratch built. Some of the buildings are still doing. Right there in the corner is Zoo. Zoo interlocking. Um, and then come around. Those are the row homes. And come around here. I don't know what this area is here or that area. And I guess is it comes uh, I uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna guess. I'm gonna get I'm not even gonna guess where that comes from. It's just amazing. The overhead's amazing. This GG1 passenger train. I guess it's heading towards Harrisburg. Here's the High Line in South Philadelphia. Um, we're in probably not South Philly, but this is, I really, it's hard to tell where it's what. The only thing I wish that he did was put, um, put um, locations on the fascia or on the wall so you have a better idea of where you're at. Um, I know that that's 30th Street Station there. At the time, it was Pennsylvania Railroad. I th I don't know. And looks like a uh, service rack. The cars are beautiful. The details, you know, it's like I go to uh, every layout's different, you know, and every layout just has some amazing detail, and it just keeps getting better at each layout that I go to. It's, it's just um, phenomenal. There's a good bit of people here, but it's not too bad. There's not a lot of room because he's got a lot of layout, so... See, like the aisleways are kind of cramped. But 
just the other side of the layout. And again, all of, all of this overhead cantonary is scratch built. All of it. Some of these buildings are scratch built. Some of these buildings are correct for that area and that building. This is the C.H. Wheeler Manufacturing Company on Sedgley Avenue. <laughs> and I'm going to guess you scratch built it. No doubt. Because <laughs> you're not getting that from Walters. And here's another one. That's what that is. Pause it if you want to read it. This is going to be a long video because there's just so much to cover here. This is going towards North Philly and Jersey, Trenton and everything there. I'm going to swing back over to the other side. Hold on. This is coming into 30th Street Station from Arsenal. Um, there's some things that are missing here, but you can't get everything in. It's just the detail, man. Like this, uh, this power grid here is like all scratch built. Amazing. I can't tell you how amazing the detail is. There's Franklin Field. I recognize that. And I'm guessing this is like um, Grays Ferry area. Not really sure. That's Arsenal Tower, scratch built. These are CPLs. And they all work. There's so many questions, but one question. These houses look incredible. Oh, thanks. Who did them? I went to, there's a uh, app in Baltimore. Uh, they make a Baltimore row house. Okay. And I thought, well, maybe I can make that work. Yeah. Because they sold this bay window. This is like a side bay window. Okay. And I, I called on the phone and said, you know, I'd like your row homes. I'm trying to do Philadelphia, yeah. but they're too short. Yeah. I need them stretched. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I can do that. Right. And I said, the porch is wrong. I'm going to put your bay window on the front. And um, so what I, he ended up doing, he stretched it for me, and he moved the doors closer where Phillies were. Right, right, and he yeah. widened this window because right. Phillies had a big yeah. window there. So he did that work for me. And then I... Um, scratch built the porches right, right. and I scratched uh, this is all you the window and I did all right. the trim up here right, to make right. it look like yeah the I think it's possible so it's a combination yeah it's yeah a combination it, it's a of kit scratch. Yeah. yeah 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 man I mean like you like I I feel like I'm there oh thanks I mean you really like I mean you really nailed the Philly row homes yeah, and, I tried. Yeah, I mean, you nailed everything. Everything looks like I feel like I'm there. I feel well, like I'm you. by the high line, and that's all scratch built. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all that's amazing. Built. Yeah, I did was, an uh, incredible like job. Two and a half years. Yeah, on the high line I believe it. I believe it. it. Hey, you made it. Yeah. Your overhead looks incredible. Ooh. Catenaries. Yeah, I mean, you did a really great job. It shows that you, all your hard work shows. Yeah, it definitely does. Did a good job. Thanks for opening your house to everybody. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks You're for welcome. No problem. Forty uh, Street Bridge. So these row homes are a combination of 
scratch build and a company down in CMC down in Baltimore made these. They're Baltimore row homes but modified. He did the uh, porches and all the detail, side detail, the brick and whatever. And if you look, right, look close. Right. All the windows, they have different scenes in them. They don't all look the same. They're all different. Again, I, I can't, the detail in this entire layout is incredible. The backyards, incredible. Beautiful, man. You don't even have to be a Pennsylvania rail fan, a uh, railroad fan, to appreciate all the work in here. But I love the Pennsylvania. Maybe I'm biased. Now there's uh everything installed in the frog is a little O four O. Everything else is not contacted. Those houses back there. They're Google view and he found I think one house that was like not altered and he just copied it and put it on that back wall. And that's what all that is. It's from Google View. <laughs> that's really creative. So this goes to show you, man, you could do anything if your imagination, with your imagination. And they look like silly row homes. In certain areas, they're identical. Back there. Man, that just looks like 40th Street. The homes of Baltimore Avenue and all big homes. Maybe that's a Catholic church right there uh, or some type of a, I don't know. It's amazing. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> so there's parts of this layout that are still under construction. And this is the part. So forty six street terminal. I don't know. You know, it's probably was gone. Oh, uh, in the, before I was born, because I don't ever remember that in my lifetime, and this would be Overbrook going north, I think, to uh, Harrisburg, I believe, and I don't know if yeah, I think there's just one helix. I thought there was two, but that back corner where you just saw the loop, that's just an upper loop. And that's like Harrisburg and beyond Pittsburgh and is that way. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour. By the way, um, 2003 is when he started this layout and it is now 2019. He's still working on it. But the detail here is, uh, it takes time. Hey, hope you enjoyed this one. It's a little long, but I think it was worth it. Hey, take care. I'll see you on the next layout.